So the first thing that you should do when you are looking at a proof is identify the given information, label it on your diagram. So here you're told that T is the midpoint of WS. Well, if T is the midpoint of WS, that means it cuts WS into two equal pieces. And you're also told that WB is equal to RS. Right? So those are the two pieces of information provided to you. Next, find where those are located on your proof. Identify the reason for that as given. All right, next, when you are uh, building a proof, uh, what you are normally going to do is interpret the given information or introduce end state elements. So when I look at this proof right here, WT equals TS, notice that just repeats what I have marked on my diagram. WT is equal to TS is a result of what? Yeah, you have to use the exact word that they use. So this is going to be definition of midpoint. Okay. If definition of bisect was one of the drop-down options, that would not be correct. Even though it is a bisector, it didn't say that. You have to use the word that uh, corresponds to what it says specifically in the proof. Okay. So now we know that these two pieces, WT and TS, are equal to each other. Okay, next, when we look at the next statement here, you have one thing is equal to something minus something else. Okay, so when you are looking at just the structure of this statement itself, is that structure similar to what you might expect in segment addition postulates? Yeah, it's similar to the part is equal to the whole minus the other part. So let's test it and see if that holds true. Okay, is this saying that the whole, uh, or I'm sorry, the part VT, is equal to the whole WT minus the other part WB. Yes, it actually means that. So we can identify that as segment addition. We can test the same thing over here on the other side that TR is equal to the whole uh, TS minus the other part RS. Okay, also segment addition. Okay, if, it is, if it was not segment addition, the only other thing that has that structure of a statement would be something where you have a statement that's already one thing equals the difference of two things and you maybe substitute one of those pieces. Okay, so just even just knowing the structure of what the statements could possibly be is going to help you uh, a long way in uh, identifying the reason. Okay, so now when we look at the next reason, TR equals WT minus WB. Okay, again, is that within the structure of segment addition? It is, so let's test it. So here it's saying TR is equal to WT minus WB. And now notice those are not part of the same segment. So this is not segment addition. Okay, and I just got done saying the only other place where this structure comes into play is if you take a pre-existing equation that's almost identical and you substitute equivalent values in. So if we look up here, we can find a couple different things uh, that to potentially look for. Okay. So one is, can we find WT minus WV somewhere earlier in our proof? We see it right here. It's equal to VT. Is there anywhere up above these statements where VT is uh, equal to what our new statement is, TR? No, it doesn't exist because that's actually what we're trying to prove, right? So it has nothing. It, it's not something to do with this right side of the equation. So we'll now look at the left side. Does TR exist somewhere earlier in our proof that is a similar uh, structure as that? Yeah, TR is equal to TS minus RS. So if I take this equation right here, TR is equal to, can I replace TS with WT? I see in step two that that is a uh, equivalent value, so I can substitute there. Can I replace RS with WV? That's one of my given information. So this is straight substitution. Okay, I took one equation from statement three and I rewrote it, substituting in two equivalent values and I got my new statement. Okay, again, replacing equivalent values, or replacing with equivalent values is substitution only. Now, once I have that, I get to my final step. My final step, when I look through and see VT is equal to TR, and when I have two things that are equal to each other, again, it could be by a definition, but usually the, the statements build. Okay, so more than likely, statement five is gonna be built from the previous statement or statements. So if I see my TR right here and my VT, I have TR in my proof earlier. I have VT in my proof earlier. Now, in order for those to be equal, I have to see that the things that they're set equal to are the same. 
is it true that TR and VT are both set equal to the exact same thing? Yes. And so what would that justification be? Two things equal to the same thing are equal to each other if transitive property of substitution. 